Now let's look at problem number 17. In problem number 17, I'd like to find dy dx for the curve cosine of y squared plus x equals e to the y. All right, we're using implicit differentiation here, so we just need to take this one step at a time. The first thing that we need to do is we need to take the derivative of each of these pieces individually. So I start out by needing to take the derivative of cosine of y squared. Well, this is cosine of something. And the derivative of cosine of something is negative sine of that thing times the derivative of y squared. But the derivative of y squared is 2y times the derivative of y which is dy over dx. Okay, so what's the derivative of cosine of y squared? The derivative of cosine of something is negative sine of that thing, and then I need to multiply that by the derivative of y squared, which is 2y dy dx. The derivative of x is 1, and the derivative on the other side of e to the y is e to the y times the derivative of y. But the derivative of y, of course, is dy over dx. All right, so let's take a look at this for a second. I have some things that have a dy dx, and I have one guy that does not. So let's get all the things that have a dy dx onto the left side. Let's get all the things that don't have a dy dx onto the right side, and then we'll solve. Okay, so I'll put all the dy dx stuff on one side of this equation, so I get minus sine of y squared times 2y times dy over dx. And I also have this guy, which I'll move to the other side and make this a negative e to the y times dy dx equals, when I move this one to the other side, it becomes a minus one. Notice everything is negative here on both sides of the equation. I've got negative, negative, negative. If I wanted to, I could just cross out all those negatives and make them all positives. It seems kind of good, so let's rewrite it. So I'll write it as sine of y squared times 2y times dy dx plus e to the y times dy dx equals 1. Now I'm ready to factor a dy dx out of the left-hand side. If I do, I get dy over dx is e, uh, times sine of y squared times 2y plus e to the y equals 1. So all I did in this step is I factored dy dx out of uh, all the terms on the left-hand side. Now, all I need to do is divide both sides by this big uh, mess in the parentheses, and I have dy over dx is equal to 1 divided by all of this. So sine of y squared times 2y plus e to the y. And that is a form of dy dx.